Good evening, my name is Ed Soto, Lead Project Manager for White Picket Renovations. Today we are here with Alex De La Torre with Trinity Foundation, and he's going to show us what to look for into a house whenever you buy an investment property. Alex, how are you doing? Good, how are you? How's everyone doing? Uh, yeah, let's, uh, I'd like to see how I can help you and, and your people out there uh, look for houses with foundation problems. I personally believe that in, in this day and age in the real estate market, you're going to need to be a little bit more out of your comfort zone. And let's take a look at this particular house so I can help you and your people distinguish a house with foundation problems and without foundation problems. Wonderful. So let's walk around this house and see some of the points that he'll be looking for. On the exterior part of the house, where okay. a lot of the telltale signs for, for the foundation problems are, okay. this is a very good way to help you have an idea whether you have a foundation problem or not. This isn't going to tell you how many piers you need or anything like that. It's damage, but it will tell you if you have a damage or not. And at that point, to call a professional, obviously we would prefer to call us. But any, any other foundation company that, that's out there can definitely help you assess the situation. But in this case, you have what we call stair step cracks on the brick, and you can see the gaps where I can actually stick my finger into some of these gaps. That's telling me that this definitely has a major foundation problem. This is definitely what we can repair when we go inside. I'll point out some other stuff, and then in that case, you know, help a lot of people to find when and where you have a problem, and at that point, what to do with it. So, Alex, uh, whenever we are inside the house, what are the main things that we should be looking for? Well, there's a lot of good ones. Um, the, the most obvious that people are familiar with are on the, on the door jams above them. Usually, you'll have cracks on the sheetrock because the sheetrock doesn't allow for movement. A lot of times, you're able to close the doors and notice how this door is sticking up here, and this one is not. That could be a sign that the foundation is falling one way or the other. And, uh, you know, for a lot of people that are not experienced, this is a good point to start. Um, with that, at that point, we have to start figuring out what kind of a problem it has. So basically, let's say for an instance, and I don't want to call a foundation company, and I just want to guesstimate, how much it will cost to do a foundation repair? Well, I would say this is one of the few times that you don't skip the process of calling a professional because on a foundation repair, you must get elevations of the slab. With that, we can give you an exact price on how much it would cost on doing the repair. It can vary depending on the severity of the slab. And a lot of times, your eye may not catch something, or even if you catch something and think it's falling in one direction, it could be where the problem is much wider spread, so it can exasperate the, the foundation repair. One thing I will say, on average, here in the Houston area, for an investment home, using a company like myself that specializes in working for investors, you're looking to spend somewhere between $2,500 and $3,000 for a small foundation repair job. Um, in, in larger cases, you could spend a lot more, again, depending on the severity of the slab itself. So that's basically, on an average, how much it would cost? Yeah, somewhere between $2,500 and $3,000 for, for about... 20 years. Alright, so let's go check on one of the other rooms. So Alex, uh, for example, let's say that somebody has done some foundation repair to this house. How can I tell if they did it or not or if it was done right? That's a great question because one of the things that I run into a lot is people call me, well I didn't see any signs of any foundation problems. Mm -hmm. And that's where you have other people come in and do foundation work or not do foundation work and try to hide it by repainting the house, putting new flooring down and that sort of stuff. I'll give you a perfect example. If you look at the store jam here, the top of this door jam to the ceiling and the top of this door jam to the ceiling, it's wider here than it is here. That means there was probably some failure to in this direction and they came in and patched it up so that you couldn't tell. Another good example is the gap here and here. It's wider here than it is over here. That's someone adjusting the door okay. to help hide the fact that this house does have foundation problems. And that's why I always stress that it's very important in this particular case for foundation to get a professional out. Obviously, we would appreciate if you call our company, but any foundation company out there would tell you if this has a foundation problem or not. The only way to truly know is to put a compu level on the ground that will actually tell you the elevations of the house. Alex, that was some very valuable information that you gave us on how to find stuff that is wrong with the house. So another thing is, how can we get a hold of you so we can contact you? Thank you. Uh, well, one of the ways to do it is to contact us via email, which is through Trinity Foundation Repair. It's all one word, Trinity Foundation Repair at gmail.com. Another way to contact us is to White Picket Renovations, which is, we do a lot of your, your wholesale deals and a lot of your own personal properties. So, 
that's another way to contact us is via through you. And um, you know, if there's any questions and if anybody has any concerns, please contact us so we can help you out. Well, thank you. Yeah, my name is Ed Soto, lead project manager for YPT Renovations. Thank you for your time.